Hawks. Coming onto the floor for the Hawks. Number 12, DeAndre Hunter. There's 53 seconds left in the third. Murray, the pass to Capella. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got nine assists now tonight. This is why you work Capella into screen and rolls, because he's so good at converting. Now here's Ingram, 21 points in the game. Nance sets a screen for Marshall. From down in the low post, it goes. Marshall's got six. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Murray down low, covered by Nance. Murray, good. Murray's got four points in the quarter. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half, sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. What focus on the shot from Ingram, shrugging off the defense. Here's Carey, fires the three, and that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We've got more in store for you right after this. Let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Fourth quarter on the court for the Hawks. The wing pairing is Bogdanovich and Hunter. Johnson is out there with Mr. Perfect, and it's Carey in at the one spot. Now, here's Hunter. The three-pointer, no good. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. The Hawks leading by 18. Here's Bogdanovich, and he banks in the layup. Bogdanovich has got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Hawks. Alvarado passes to Williamson. He dishes it to Nance. Misses from short range. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. And so it's New Orleans with it, following Bogdan Bogdanovich's three-point attempt. Williamson in the post. Johnson's there. Passes to Alvarado. Just five to shoot. Marshall inside the three-point line. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. A three from Bogdanovich. And he's good on the three ball. What a gifted score Bogdanovich is. Able to hit jumpers even with the defense all over him. Here's Alvarado. Williamson outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Atlanta leading by 21. Carey passes to Bogdanovich. And here is Johnson. Out to the right wing. Here's Mr. Perfect. And there's the whistle, three-second violation. So, Steve, you were drafted by the Heat, a young expansion team at the time down in Miami. But if you had to choose, which city would you give an expansion team to right now? 
I think Seattle and Las Vegas are at the top of everyone's list. San Diego would be nice because I love to travel there. I love when Vancouver had a team. How about bringing that team back, Kevin? So it's the Hawks now. After Zion Williamson missed from long range. Now Alvarado atop the key. Back to Williamson. Rebound by the Hawks. Johnson's got six rebounds now in the game. And there's the pass to Mr. Perfect. A three from Bogdanovich. From beyond the arc and then some. Bogdanovich has got eight points here in this quarter. McCollum against Bogdanovich. Now McCollum feeds it to Nance. Back to McCollum, kicks it out to Williamson. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. And it's Alvarado missing. For Atlanta, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. And it's Carey missing. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the Pelicans. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Back to Williamson. And again, no good by New Orleans. No other way to put it. Just a rough quarter in terms of scoring. He has not been helping at all. Kicks it out to Johnson. Launches it. Hits it from three-point range. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. New Orleans has gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Smitty, we know the league is very balanced right now, but which division would you categorize as the best? You could argue the Pacific Division, but I like the talent and upside of the Atlantic Division. You've got Boston, Philadelphia, New York, Brooklyn and Toronto. The Hawks making a switch here. Dave's checked in. For the Hawks. Number 41, Sadiq Ben. Here's McCollum. A shot's good on the assist by Nance. McCollum's got nine points now in just the second half. Here's Carey. Down low. Hunter on the wing. Over Nance in Atlanta again with the bucket. Oh, great ball movement there. The Pelicans shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Williamson, the screen. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And one of the best shooters in the league. He just flies under the radar, though. Trey Murphy. Reason why, GA, is shot mechanics. There's no wasted motion. The release is quick, so he can hit contested jumpers all day. The first free throw is good. Trey Murphy the third could probably knock him down from the line with his eyes closed. So for the Hawks, Clint Capella, he's checked in for Mr. Perfect. Murray comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Young is subbed in for Bottoms. Good on both. And one thing that came from this new CBA GA, mandatory participation in the NBA draft combine. Yeah, more equal access for teams to study various prospects. Player agents can't keep teams in the dark like in the past. That makes for a more level playing field. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Williamson kicks to McCullough. Nance a screen on Murray. McCullough. Good work defensively by Capella. It's stolen by Nance. Good work defensively by Capella. To the middle. Here's Bay. Off target at the rim. New Orleans has gone ice cold from three point land 0 4 since the start of the final quarter. And a wide open look for McCullum. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Bay finds Murray. And the turnover again by Atlanta. 
Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Ingram comes in for Jose Alvarado. Bottoms, he's checked in for the Hawks. Here's McCollum. And with NBA's upcoming broadcasting deal, Steve, starting in 2025, a lot of streaming services vying to carry games. Kevin, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. But with those additional media outlets and the bidding, the sense is the next deal could be a doozy. And here's Young after Brandon Ingram getting his shot to go from deep. And Young kicks to Bay. Wide open. Connects the jumper drops. Love to see a wing player run the pick and roll. Sadiq has a diverse skill set. It's McCollum on the wing. He's covered by Murray. And that one's good, Ingram. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Murray outside. To the paint, here's Capella. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. An intimidator himself, Capella's not shying away from a little contact. Back to McCollum. For Murray, again, the Pelicans score. Ever since halftime, he's had his eyes on the basket and just crushing it right now. Pass to Murray. Here's Bay. Knocks down the three ball. Bay's got five points now this quarter. Great vision. Murray's such a complete player. Pass to Dallin Chunis. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Williamson double team. Ingram outside. And that's a foul called on bottom. And that'll be his third foul so far. All right, the NBA already has a team in Canada, a G League team in Mexico. Could we see a team in Europe, you think, Steve? Kevin, we've had games in Paris, London recently. It'd be really hard travel-wise on these guys flying all the way over to Europe. Herbert Jones, he's checked in for the Pelicans. McCollum, no good. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Atlanta Hawks. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Alan Junis is. And here is Ingram. Passes it to McCollum. Alan Junis with a screen on Murray. Here's McCollum. Mr. Perfect with the rebound. The Hawks have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. On its way from Young for two. Here's Mr. Perfect, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now here's Ingram. And the pass to Williamson. Shot clock at six. Back to Ingram for the three. He can't hit that time. Atlanta's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. Bay passes to Young. Out to the right wing. Pass to Mr. Perfect. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Johnson, he's checked in for Bay. A.J. Griffin comes in for DeJounte Murray. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Young. And Greg, while the commissioner might not like player trade requests, Kevin Durant said it's great for the league for players to have that leverage. Where do you stand? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, the main thing is trying to keep those requests in-house. Otherwise, it can be deflating for fans. Jones kicks to McCullough. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists now in this one. Here's Carey. Pass to Johnson. Inside. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. 
Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. McCollum outside. This is to Ingram. Over Griffin. Nails the 16-footer. And that's now 30 points for Brandon Ingram. You see how Ingram's polished his game, looking smooth from the mid-range. Down low. Pass to Mr. Perfect. Outside Griffin. Johnson in the corner. Back to Bogdanovich. From deep. Pelicans pull it in. Ingram outside. Now the pass to Williamson. Johnson with the defensive effort. And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big-time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Hawks. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight, tonight's win will give them four on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Mr. Perfect. He really played at his preferred pace, never let adjustments by the defense speed him up or slow him down. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Here's Ingram after the basket by Atlanta. And that one drops for him. We know Ingram's capable of having big nights, but now we're seeing it more and more and more. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Johnson. Here's Mr. Perfect, guarded by Valanciunas. Pass to Carey. There's the three. Nailed from three-point land. Three. And the Pelicans with possession here. And so Atlanta takes this one by a big margin. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight, so how satisfying was this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting a win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win, whoever we're playing against, and um, that, that's all I care about. Well, you all certainly did what you had to to get this win, man. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. All right, DA, thanks again. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Mr. Perfect.